What'd you major in? Uh, business management and uh, marketing. Most people take majors that they never use in real life. Right. Has your major served you? Oh yeah, absolutely. Like, you know, me going to college, I knew I was going to be rich. Mm -hmm. And most people would have took communications to learn how to do radio or learn music or learn this, but nobody could teach me music because I, I was in it. I was living it. But I always thought when I get there, how am I going to learn what to do with my money? How am I going to market myself? So I took those marketing and business classes and that's where I focused my degree on. And I just used that to help my business. So for instance, and no disrespect to any DJ that's watching this, but back in the day, if you think about it, right, all DJs were fat. Yep. That's true. true 100%. I'm not going to name them, but they were all overweight. I mean, we can name it. You can, actually, you can go the other way and try to name the ones who weren't fat and you right. probably have five. So I was like, I need to do something different than what they're doing. They already have a good fan base. So they were catering to the street dudes, right? The hustlers, the bottles. So I said, you know what? I'm going to go the other way. Now, if you look at those DJs, if you go back and look at the old pictures, it was always sloppy, big T-shirts, horrible looking sneakers. And I said, you know what? I'm going to be the fly DJ. I'm going to cater to women. I'm going to cater to the females. I'm going to have a bunch of females at my club because mine is going to be sexy and dope and we're going to be fly. I'm going to have the newest joint jeans on, the hottest shirt this, that, and the other, jewelry. I'm going to look like a rapper. And what happened was I used to do all these parties and I used to have nothing but women in it. And at first, promoters would be like, yo, we're not making no money because there's nothing but women in there. <laughs> and then what happened? All the street hustlers was like, nah, we don't want to party over there. We're going to party with Envy because yeah. Envy got the women. And it just caught on. And that's how I kind of created my style different than anybody else. I like what you said. And I think for anybody watching this, this is, this is something that people should really pay close attention to. You said, I always knew I was going to be rich. Yeah. And you're so forward thinking that even before you broke, even before you become this household name, you're now thinking of your own brand. Right. You're seeing what's out there in the marketplace and saying to yourself, hey, you know what? All of the DJs, they're overweight. They you know, are not necessarily the greatest dresses. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cater to a different fan base. Correct. Where did this forward thinking come from? I wanted to be different. And I'm kind of different, like, some people, they, they hate on other people and they're mad, but I aspire to be better than them. Mm -hmm. And it's not on no hate, it's on, it's on this is what I want to do. So like I tell everybody all the time, when I used to get lazy or unmotivated, I would drive to the richest area in Long Island, because I'm from Queens, and I would just look at those big ass mansions, look at them big ass, but one day I'm gonna own that, I'm gonna own a house like that. And that would give me my motivation, because I was like, I'm not in that house right now. You know, and, and that's what I did, and that was my motivation, to, to keep pushing and keep working. And I knew that I couldn't be like everybody else. I couldn't do the things that everybody else is doing. I had to make myself a little different. Mm -hmm. So when I came out, you know, one of my, my, my AKAs was DJ and be something like a rapper. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. I was like, I got your jewels like I a rapper, remember. I got the cars like yeah. the rapper. But that's what I was, and people took me as such. So now when I walk into the club, a promoter treats me differently than he treats another DJ. Yo, right away, yo, I need a spot in the front, I need a table, I need this, that, and the other. And they're like, you're not a rapper, but this is what I need. And they started giving it to me. So they treat you different. They make sure your money's there as soon as you walk in. And it's a different feeling, it's a different way of marketing myself. And then I just took that whole mentality around the country. So for anybody who's starting off in business, because you're, that's some, that's balls. Like you're asking for stuff that you have to earn your way. Like you, you have to earn that rider. Right. I want a spot in the front. I want my drinks. I want this. When did you say to yourself, you know what? I have to walk the walk. If, if I'm going to be treated a certain way, I, I, I can't be scared to ask for what I want. Right. I mean, I think for myself, I walk the walk. Like, I was out there on 125th Street selling CDs and tapes to Africans. I was driving down to Virginia Beach, 4th of July, giving out mixtapes and, and CDs. You know, I was waiting outside of record labels, waiting for, uh, you know, somebody to give me a record. So I did that. So when I started getting a name, I'm like, I got to make myself bigger than Clue. I got to make myself bigger than SNS. I got to make myself bigger than Ron G, than Kid Capri the Funkmaster Flex, I gotta make myself bigger than them. How am I gonna do it? They all had their niche, they all had their lanes. I gotta get my lane, and that's what it was. 
Yeah, but you want to know something? A lot of them walk that walk. Mm -hmm. Whether it's in DJ, any walk of life, mm -hmm. you can't be afraid to ask mm -hmm. for what you want. You Correct. can't be afraid to see yourself and then go after it aggressively and demand that people treat you the way that you want to be treated. Absolutely. <laughs> What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.